Hello. Well, here we are on New Year's Day 2021. And we've just been through one of the most difficult years that most of us can remember. But I wanted to, just as we're going into New Year and the snow is still on the ground and it's still cold and all the plants are still asleep, what I find fascinating is that there are so many signs of hope even in the midst of difficulty. So what I wanted to do was take you around the garden and we are in the garden now and show you some of the promises of hope that God gives us that have been there even since before we went into winter. And there are some things that are emerging now that are really exciting. Are we ready? First bit of the garden. Now this is a kind of rhododendron azalea -y thing and if I'm, I'm going to be embarrassed to admit that I can't quite remember. But I think it's a rhododendron. Um, but actually if you look at it you're going to see that it's got flower buds sitting, waiting, dormant, asleep, but ready to burst forth with life. So if you look here, there they are. And I'm not going to disturb them because they're just asleep at the moment, but they're full of promise. And this guy is a cowslip on his way. He's tiny. He's feeling the cold a little bit. He's probably a bit early, but there he is. And there's is that a leaf or is it? No, that's a leaf that's emerging there. I think that's all leaves, no flowers yet, but promise of cowslips coming. I'm being a little bit careful about where I stand here because around here there are loads of snowdrops that we planted in the green late last spring or early summer last year. And snowdrops tend to come up flowers first, the leaves don't show first. Whereas daffodils, of course, you get the leaves first, then the flowers later. So avoiding putting large feet around over them but I wanted to show you this tree and all the trees are doing this and if you look we've got buds we've got leaf buds now they've been there since December and before and they're just starting to think about swelling now to produce leaves for the spring there you go down here hidden away a few grape hyacinths and a primrose and yeah, I guess they're probably at the wrong time of year. We shouldn't really see, be seeing flowers on these for a month or so yet. But actually, let's see them as a miracle. Let's see them as a gift of colour in a time when it can all look a bit grey and dull. Daffodils peeking up through the snow. Brave, brave daffodils. There are certain trees that are synonymous with the British countryside and this is a horse chestnut and I had a good friend who used to tell me that horse chestnuts in terms of the wood they provide are useless because you can't burn them. He said, take a hint, they used to make brakes out of them on early cars. Um, so they don't burn and limbs tend to fall off randomly making them very dangerous to work on if you're a tree worker. But they're beautiful. And if you come closer, you'll see that there are buds bursting there. OK, they're not bursting, but they're starting to swell. And they're very distinctive. That is a classic horse chestnut bud at this time of year. Ah, oh, garlic starting to appear. So I don't know whether you can see these little tiny guys here. But those are garlic just starting to make its appearance. And come the next few months and over the summer, this whole woodland will be just covered in garlic, wild garlic, which we use for making salads and things. So here in the wood, there's a little bit more protection, so it's just stayed a little bit warmer. So you can see here bluebells just starting to peek up through the ground. Hopefully we'll see those flowering in sort of March, April but uh, they got planted last year, so really exciting to see them coming up for the first time. So, all that remains to say is, yes, we're in the bleak midwinter. Yes, it's cold, there's snow on the ground and there's more to come. And we also know that with January and February, we've still got the two coldest, wettest, most miserable months heading towards us. But if we're prepared to look around, there is hope everywhere. 
And all that I want to do now is from out of the ashes, from all of us, to all of you, to wish you a hopeful, happy day.